Hi guys, today we're going to be going over a new feature that allows us to get scan data directly in as voxels that are colorized by their deviations compared to CAD. So we're going to walk through this process and how to set it up. Um, today I will be using an AT960 tracker with an AS1 scanner. Um, so we get this set up and let, us, let our tracker know that we want the data coming in as voxels. We first have to go under this home tab into our user option. So we go to the home tab, select this gear key, and under the display tab, we're gonna come down to clouds and mesh. Perfect, we're already set up to voxel display here. Uh, default might have been the cloud display, so we might have to adjust that radio button to get those voxels. Beneath that, you can see some settings here. We do have the voxel size and voxel size reset threshold and the reset factor. So what this means is this is gonna be the starting voxel size and once we exceed this number of voxels, the size is gonna increase by this factor. And that will continue on as we continue to exceed this threshold. You can adjust these settings if need be, but I'm gonna leave them at the defaults for now. You can hit okay there. Then beneath that, we do have the voxel default settings here. So if I hit that voxel default, this is where you can adjust again some of the size options as well as the colorization. And I'm gonna leave this as the default for discrete colors, but you can adjust them if need be. And hit okay there and okay again. So to begin with, um, I'm gonna just start taking a couple of a scans to get some data in, because we will need to create a relationship to get that colorization. And so we'll need a scan ahead of time to assign that relationship to, to get that set up. So to begin with, we'll see just standard voxels uncolorized I'm gonna hold the trigger to take a scan. You can see that data just came in. If we zoom in, this is gonna be our standard box in that pseudo surface viewpoint mode. To get that colorization we want, we're gonna to have to set up a relationship. And to do that, I'm gonna go under my features tab. And on this very right hand side, we have the cloud relationships button. So I'm gonna hit that drop down and do cloud to object. It's prompting me to select my point cloud if I do that and hit enter, and then select my object, which is my CAD, and hit enter, we're then gonna get that colorization. So you see that colorization coming through? And that's with the data I already had, but as I take more data, it's gonna do that those live calculations to give us the colorization. So if I hold the trigger on my scanner again and start taking more data, you can see that data coming in, and then SA is performing those calculations live to do that colorization. So we're getting kind of that live heat map look. This beautiful neutral, look at the data coming in. Get one up on the edge here. There we go, we can see it doing those calculations there as we go. So just let go of my, of the trigger on that scanner until I'm done taking data. You can see that colorization coming in cleanly there. And that's how you set that up. So now if you add more data, it's gonna continue to calculate and give you those live, uh, that colorization. All right, thanks. And if you guys have any questions on these new features, please do not hesitate to reach out. Thanks.